Hi my lovely beautiful souls. How are you all doing? Hope you're all having a beautiful day. So this is going to be just a general reading. So I will just start off the reading right away without any more further delay. For your general energies and also for your love energies, okay? I hope you like today's decoration. It's all pink. So let us just start off the reading, guys for your general energies first okay so we have holding on way too tight today scorpios for your general energies for this card definitely you guys are holding on to someone too much or um, I can also see here that you're not willing to let go of things. You're just wanting something that is forever or you feel like someone is holding on to you way too tight. It's some kind of like a clingy energy is what I can say here. You feel like someone is very clingy when it comes to your energies. Or you feel like uh, you are clingy towards others. So all I can feel is a very clingy energy. Okay, that is the main reason we have this card holding on way too tight. This card is a lot of a clingy energy. Let us just take more cards. Wow, we have Aloha Healing next. So, I can see here that today, guys, with the Aloha Healing, you do take things seriously today. You want to heal yourselves. Maybe you are working with crystals, or you're working with something that is relating to healing yourself. You might be buying crystals. You might be buying pendants, crystal pendants. You might be buying stuff that is uh, relating to healing. Uh, I can also see here that you might be buying a course in astrology or in uh, Vedic astrology. You might study all of that. So that is also a major energy that I can get for you here. Okay, so today is going to be definitely a day where you are healing yourself. You are trying to bring the better version of yourselves out and all of that energy. Okay. Okay, guys. So let me just pick out one more card for you guys. And we will see what is coming up. Okay. We have a wonderful idea, aha moment. So, definitely what I can see here with this card, you might be getting new ideas. I can see here that lately people have been discouraging you. They're not really encouraging you on your journey. People are not really understanding you completely or something like that. And now is the time for you to understand yourselves much better. For a few of you, I can also see here that you want to learn more about yourselves. You want to find out more about yourselves. And I can also see here that today will be a day where you're getting a lot of ideas on what you need to do, how you need to be, a lot of ideas on life itself. And this is just very special. You're understanding things completely. You're understanding things just like you should understand. And... I can see here definitely that you are making people happy. You are having a happy new beginning with the people around you. That sort of an energy is what I can see here. Okay. Now I will be moving on to your love energies with some monology deck cards. Okay. So what is coming up my pinkies? I'm really sorry to call you pinkies. <laughs> Today is also pink and so let us just see what is coming up for your love energies, my pinky Scorpios. We have show the world the real you. Guys, it's time to not anymore hide. 
okay you know who you are scorpios and it's time to show the real you to the people around you okay even if people are trying to discourage you they're trying to bring you down they're doing things that uh, they feel like you shouldn't do whatever their situation might be try to show the world the real you because you know the fake you will not do anything okay the fake you might fake might be the fake you uh, if people like the fake version of you that's what i'm trying to say and if people like the fake version of you then there's no point in being in such a relationship there's no point in being in a place where they don't value the truth behind you okay so that is what i can uh, feel here for you guys let us take some more cards okay we have balance spirituality and practicality wow so all i can see here with the spirituality and the practicality you need to try to balance these things okay and for mostly of the few of you i can see here that you guys are not really happy or you guys are not really um able to balance what you're dreaming into situations in real life so you're not able to do that so it would be great if you do that okay it would be great if you can balance your spiritual energy with your practical energy because most of you are not able to do that and i definitely feel that if you try to balance in a sense if you have certain dreams about something dreaming is not in our realm obviously so try to bring that to into something physical okay try to manifest it into a physical reality just dreaming about it will not manifest okay and for this person i can see here that they're not able to balance out their life evenly they don't know who to support they don't know really know what to do who to support what to manifest and this person is really confused on what is right what is wrong what they should do what they shouldn't do so these are the things this person keeps thinking about they're really confused on how the situation should be what they should actually be like okay but really like uh, your drama okay so they really like how dramatic you are i don't know why this person adores you that way but really like your drama when it comes to your energy they really like how glamorous you are they like your dramatic nature i mean you're not a person who is simple to maintain scorpios and this person finds that very attractive they need to put an effort to uh, get to you they need to put an effort to make you that so they're very attracted to this energy is what i can see here this person is very much attracted to this they really love this about you they definitely feel a happy energy when it comes to your um energies guys so with the glamour interview and drama this person really adores the way you um take everything not seriously okay because this person right here they usually had a few relationships before you and all of these re in all of these relationships people were really like easy to get okay honestly these people were easy to get so they really love you because they find that hard energy to get you like they cannot have you easily they need to put in effort they need to do what they have to to get to you i really find this very attractive because um in other relationships this is not it for them so they just feel really attracted really happy this person just likes the way they have to play with you to get you so that is a major energy for this uh, cards and thank you all so much for joining me here guys my lovelies and i will see you all tomorrow bye have an amazing day and please make sure to comment down below and give me a hi guys welcome back to my channel my lovelies so 
this is going to be just a pick a card reading on how this person thinks about you what they feel about this connection with you and especially for uh, those of you who feel your partner is kind of hard for you to understand or you feel this person is really hard for you to manage or in uh, some situations like that i really see that this reading will help you all okay even if you feel you know your person completely the hiding things from you or something is happening continuously in that case this reading will really really benefit you guys okay so i will be laying out three cards here three piles of cards here okay and then you choose uh, what pile you feel most drawn to so the first pile of cards is going to be um with the right away deck okay so this is your pile number one I hope it is visible pile number one okay wait a minute guys I will just zoom out ah uh, yes guys so I've just changed the angle so that you get a clear view of the piles and the messages so the pile number one the right away deck the pile number two is going to be the cat tarot and the pile number three is going to be the Lenormand tarot deck okay so just choose the pile that you feel most attracted to all these are tarot cards so you can choose any pile that you're attracted to and i will do the reading just after your daily energies okay so uh, yes guys let us just uh, get started make sure to meditate for about 10 to 5 to 10 minutes or if you feel drawn to a deck just like i laid out the cards i mean laid out the deck here i place the deck here and you feel attracted to that deck it's totally fine you can go ahead and choose that deck okay so after choosing the deck go to the description box below or go to the comments where i've given the timestamps for each of the deck so you can go there and choose um if you're choosing pal number one or deck number one then please make sure to go to the timestamps and choose that uh, timestamp okay for the deck number one and watch that and for deck number two then that timestamps deck number three and for that the timestamps okay guys so um let us just get started how this person is feeling about you what are they thinking about you what are their overall feelings and energy when it comes to you are they serious about this relationship how are they taking this connection is your connection spiritual emotional physical what is more in your connection whether the physical aspect the emotional aspect or a spiritual aspect or if it is something else more than that so let us just find out guys i will start with a deck number one okay the deck number two and three please wait for your turns or you can go choose from the timestamps so let me just start off with the deck number one and just before i start guys this is just a general reading it may or may not resonate with you but definitely it will resonate but everything won't resonate with you guys as it is just a general reading and if you want to book a private reading with me make sure to comment down below and let me know and i will definitely look forward to do a private reading okay so yes guys so uh, i will just start off with the reading now my lovelies for your first pile first deck okay okay guys so what is coming up for you guys my lovelies how does this person think about you how do they feel about this relationship with you what do they want this connection to be with you in that case let us just find out he's just too obsessed okay so we have the magician this is how this person thinks about you feels about you we have the emperor okay two of cups and we also have 
So there is a significance of laying down the cards on peacock feathers and that is what I've done today. These are peacock feathers and I've just laid out the cards on the peacock feathers. These feathers have been collected from the gardens. Okay, so it has to do nothing with harming an animal. So that is what I can see here for you guys. And today I can also see here that oh, the magician, you guys are going to be very drawn to life itself. You're going to be very focused on whatever you want to do, whatever you want to manifest. With the emperor card, I can definitely see here that this person uh, sees you as someone who is, um, what to say guys, this person definitely sees you as someone who knows what he or she needs to do, who knows what he or she needs to manifest, that kind of a positive energy. When this person thinks about you, when this person wants to talk to you, or they have certain feelings for you, it has all to do with your happy, vibrant energy and that authoritative characteristics. This person really likes how authoritative you are, they really like how uh, talkative you are, for that matter i can also see that this person likes your strong personality because maybe according uh, maybe they're not such strong people maybe they're not such strong people and maybe this person is uh, not so strong in a sense they don't talk what they think is right or something like that but when it comes to you this person feels that character really draws them okay that real uh, that character of yours that strong character of yours makes them um, come towards you okay so that is again what i can see here for you guys my lovely So this person definitely likes your strong character, okay? They like your strong character, the way you talk, the way you react to things, really feel drawn to those energies, definitely, okay? So this is what I can see here for your general energies. And also this person doesn't know what they would do when the situation is not with you. They're really confused because they really do love you a lot. They care for you a lot. And they don't know what they're going to do when the situation doesn't involve you. I hope you got that. So that is again a strong, strong energy that i can see here from your reading okay so that is all i can see here guys with the emperor and the with the magician and also with the two of cups i can see here is that this person does understand you they even feel sometimes that it can be a twin flame or a soulmate relationship due to that strong passionate desire for each um, both of you guys that you share with this relationship so this person feels like they really uh, feel that strong deep connection with you and therefore this person has decided or they just uh, strongly feel that it can be a twin flame or a soulmate relationship okay even though you have um, otherwise energy you think it can be otherwise they still think this can be a soulmate or a twin flame connection okay so that is what i can see here with the two of cups and with the seven of pentacles definitely this person thinks uh, very proud of you when it comes to you they really feel proud they really feel like you can live up to your potential something like that so this is what i can see here with these cars my lovely so this person does feel you are living up to your potential they feel like you are strong they have a very positive attitude when it comes to you because they know who or how you actually are and they actually know how to make you this uh, better person okay so this person's really very concerned about you with these cars I can see here that they feel you're so strong, you're so powerful, really like that character when it comes to you. So that kind of energy is also what I can see here for you guys. This person really likes that strong uh, character that you give, when, whether it be when you're meeting them, whether it be when you're talking to them, really like that strong character that you're 
um, giving into this relationship or that you're showing them really very happy and proud to kind of have you in their life okay so that kind of energy is what i can see here for you my lovely also what i can see here guys is that this person will do anything to uh, manifest a connection with you guys okay that is again what i can see here i'm really sorry for the disturbance and uh, yes um let me just take a few more cards to kind of find out how this person really feels or things or something uh, that is unique about this connection is this connection spiritual emotional physical how is this okay so more about your energies okay so this person i can see that they cheated you with someone else or one of you was too emotionally connected to this person and you got cheated by them or this situation can also involve you guys uh, that you guys are not really sure what uh, this connection is when it comes to this person you really don't know uh, how this connection feels when it comes to this person you're really not sure how this person generally is okay there is a lot of confusion when it comes to your relationship even you had an abortion of uh, the child that you had with this person i'm really sorry to bring up that energy but i can see that again here okay there is some kind of an abortion that took place or you lost your child somewhere or something that has to do with losing a child okay so definitely there was an abortion happening or something happened definitely too uh, that is that's the indication of the empress in reverse energy okay so with the five of pentacles and with the moon card all i can also see here is that um just beware of this energy okay this person if you are still in this committed relationship with this person and if you feel like this person's not valuing you they're not kind or nice to you or if you're not feeling good about this relationship that you have with this person then it's high time that you guys really think about this connection that you have with this person okay because they might be treating you they might be seeing you and someone else at the same time because the three of three of swords uh, definitely represents um what to say guys this truly represents a cheating energy the third party connection so there is definitely a third party involved if you are choosing uh, choose this deck if you choose this deck so i'm just asking you to be careful third party doesn't just mean uh, another interest that this person is uh, looking forward with but it can also be like a third person getting involved in your connection okay it is not just like a third party in a sense it's not like a completely different person it can be a completely different person doesn't have to be another love interest it can be someone else uh, for example the parents not interested uh, of them being in connection or in this relationship with you that can also mean a kind of a third party connection because someone else is involved in your personal relationship okay so don't just take it as like this person cheating you that might just be one percent of you guys that might just be for one person of you guys and not for all of you guys so please don't uh, think in a uh, bad way always try to be positive okay and also i can see here with the moon card and with the five of pentacles that with the moon especially you guys are feeling intuitively drawn to this person or your intuition is telling you that this person is not the one for you for some of you guys but for a few of you your intuition kind of tells you that this person is the one for you and you're confused you just don't know what to believe whether to um whether to go with your intuition or to kind of like go this side or that side you're kind of feeling not uh, balanced you're feeling somewhat a little weird to make a decision out of a situation so that is again uh, that is the reason why we have this card here for you guys 
the king of cups also means like this person may be waiting for you to come back if you're in a separation state okay because the king of cups if you can see this king is holding a cup in his hands and he's kind of like in a waiting position he's not doing anything he's just sitting there waiting with a lot of love with a lot of care with a lot of affection so this is definitely a waiting energy okay now guys i will be just um a wrapping up this reading so thank you all so much for those of you who chose the pile number one and i hope this reading really helped you all in some or the other way i'm really grateful for being here for you to do the readings and yes guys if you really like this reading please make sure to give my video a thumbs up and also comment and let me know okay so bye guys see you all tomorrow bye So for those of you who chose the deck number two, this is the reading for you guys. So let us just find out how does this person feel about you? What are they thinking about when it comes to a relationship with you? How are they feeling? How are they thinking? And everything about uh, the relationship that you share with this person especially. Let us just find out guys. I will be using the cat tarot today okay let us just start off the reading without any further delay so wow two cards just flip okay i will be picking out this card too it looks like a lot of anger to be honest okay so i will be picking all of these cards and laying them down we have the huh, five of cups in reverse but i can read it upright so i'll just be keeping it upright let me just pick out these cards first king of wands page of pentacles ace of cups and we also have the moon card if you are like a cat lover then these cards might be so cute for you guys yes these cards are very cute i love all animals so yes so what i can see here with the king of wands is that today will be a day where you're just thinking too much you uh, may be someone who's trying to catch things if you can see this catch uh, i mean this cat is trying to catch this lizard or like the prey that it wants so the same way you're trying to catch the opportunities that are coming towards you or you're trying to catch something that you want to catch okay i don't know why i'm get, uh, getting the catch energy but maybe certain opportunities are coming towards you and you will make use of it okay that is what this king of wands energy really means and with the page of pentacles energy for how you feel about this person how they feel about you they feel that you are a very very immature person they try giving you all the love they try giving you all the attention uh, but you don't seem to understand it or they try giving you all of the love attention care hope need everything to you but uh, you still don't understand it or they feel like you are someone who still wants more this person is giving you more they're giving you like too much and you still want more you are not satisfied with whatever you have right now so that kind of an energy that is a very very immature energy they see you as a very immature person they see you uh, a person with a lot of childish characteristics and sometimes it is like a blessing to have someone with a lot of childhood characteristics and especially with the ace of cups all i can see here is that this person uh, feels like they have everything when they have you they feel they have everything when it comes uh, to a relationship with you